Marty. Any other questions or comments? Giving up our giving our own input to this thing. I also like what Rose Rose said from being the outgoing board member. She said everything in Wonder Rock is slow. So everything that's in this thing has to do with the bureaucratic inertia of the federal system. The DIE schools are the one that's slow. So merely moving schools from one bureaucracy to another is not going to speed things up. Right now, as a grant school, I can make things happen quickly. I can get a purchase order in a day or two. I can hire people quickly. I don't want to go under a bureaucracy, but that's just an idea that we're going to put into our plans, our suggestions. And just on the governance part for you, Mr. Um, the recommendation is to move the 31 PIE schools. And he said, it won't be such a shock since the 31 advisory boards will now be Navajo Nation Board of Ed Advisory Boards. If those are all advisory boards, ultimately who's going to be making the decisions on it if everybody's just advisory? All right. Thank you for those three points. And what I would like to share is that uh, yesterday we did have feedback sheets, uh, even though it, uh, it says Crown Point Chapter House on these purple sheets. If you have specific questions that you would like to address, we'll certainly be making notes. But our recommendation is that uh, those who are this and post the questions along with their responses on their, on their web page. So this would be one strategy to continue that. And uh, I think we all.
all acknowledge that communication is that two-way street. And uh, this is certainly an opportunity from the department to reach out. And I think this is not the end of the conversation. This is just the beginning of it. I'm very interested. If I could interject, well, given that this is a public hearing, we're actually recording comments and we also have the any response to feedback. And people have the, the any concerns, recommendations, because what we're trying to do is push this with the perspective of trying to move things forward and not so much trying to get bogged, bogged down in, 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 in things. Other than that, what we're trying to project, I think everyone has a common interest in, which is changing the direction of our education system to provide for these things. And then any input and feedback would be mutually great and appreciated about how we can make this better, how we can develop a system for, for ourselves based on what we all, all want. And one of the things that's actually come out of this, and this is related to the UC, is, uh, is actually the, this project, the process and Because one of the comments that's often come out out of all the conversations that we've had with schools, with uh, people that know how to try to operate, and a part of this whole process is acknowledging that the evaluation is not perfect itself. I mean, everyone, all the criticism, all the errors and does it kind of dirty. I've been about Head Start. Nobody should have Everything goes in one direction to get stuck. So one of the things that's also come out of this, one of the other recommendations is, how do we work with Holy God to improve it rather than continue to be stuck with it, not doing anything about it? And this is sort of like how the process of uh, how Window Rock operates and how the school systems operate. And uh, like with money, when you try, if you get pushed through this, this is where the bottlenecks and everything Dirty to deal with the millions of dollars of programs we have head start. We have all this money that goes through this has to pop through several different on the council level just to apply for the grant. When we accept the grant, it has to hop through every committee, whether or not they have the form, we have no control over it. And the other thing that we also have realized from the, the PCC is that when it comes to hiring committees, it's a long process because of the, just the way the tribe itself is being structured. So part of this process through this uh, this grant is our knowing that we have these problems and issues. How do we fix it? How do we work with what we got to not get stuck? And so one of the recommendations is, is that rather than have to go through all that, we develop and create a separate entity that is outside the tribe. So uh, DOJ, OMB, personnel doesn't doesn't get their hands on that. Because the last thing I, I think everyone is afraid of, and it, it's been expressed by a lot of community meetings, is if we have all this money and get stuck in Bureaucracy. How in the world is that going to make a difference for schools? How are we going to ensure that our schools, uh, our teachers, get the resources that, we, that, that they need if we get stuck in that? It's it's a solution I don't think everyone is wanting to explore. So the other part is, okay, knowing that we have the, these issues, are how do we fix them? And so one of the things that we're looking at or proposing is this to hold that density outside the tribe so it doesn't get taken up by one more and ensure a much more efficient flow. And I think one of the things that we're looking at partly is actually Head Start. And that's a discussion that's also coming up is, is a, Head Start is pretty much stuck in that. And a lot of the bashing and negative comments that we've received is, is Head Start.